Hello and welcome back to another video. This problem, we're given the equation, we're, looking, we're given a graph and we're trying to find the equation of that line. So, you'll notice in your book, there's probably grid marks and numbers and values that are listed there. I left those out because they're not going to be necessary. You'll see why in a little bit. So if we have the equation of a line, y equals mx plus b, we have two things that we're looking at. We have m, which is the slope, and b, which is the y-intercept. For this line, let's start with the b. I think that's a little bit easier. The y-intercept, the place where the graph intersects with the y-axis, that's going to be right here. And this one, b, since it's lower than the x-axis, b is going to be less than 0. So what does that mean for our four answers? Well, it means it could be either this one or this one, because we have negative 2 for b. Those are both less than 0. These two have positive 2, that's greater than 0, so it can't be b, it can't be d. So it's either a or c. And you'll notice here, where not needing the numbers on the graph to actually calculate the equation of the line comes in, if the slope is greater than 0, it's going to be this one. If the slope is less than 0, it's going to be this one. So how do we find the slope when we don't know any of the values? Well, we look at the relationship between the two variables. So let's look. As x increases, going this way, does y increase or decrease? We well, can look at this graph and we can see this from here to here, x increases, but y also increases. So that means as one, equate, one variable is increasing, the other is increasing. What that means is that your slope is positive. If they're doing the same thing, they're both increasing or they're both decreasing, that means you have a positive slope. If one's increasing, the other's decreasing or vice versa, that means you're gonna have a negative slope. So here, m is positive. What does that mean for options? That means negative 2 cannot be the slope. So that's going to be cut out. 2 could be the slope. Again, negative 2 could be the y-intercept. And that's the only option, so they must be. So c is going to be an answer. As always, thank you for liking and subscribing, and I'll see you in the next video.